Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me on my latest Unreal Engine tutorial that will show you how to simply and easily create that really cool lens flare effect for your level. Now you probably know if you watched any movies in the last 15 years or so, lens flare effects have become increasingly popular because basically, hey, they look cool and the same will likely be for your level as well. The great thing about Unreal Engine is the fact that you can add the same effect really easily, really effectively to your level in literally a couple of minutes. Also a good thing for all of you beginners who are like me struggling with the blueprint system is the fact that it includes no blueprint editing or changes to your level blueprint. Instead you will simply use an already existing actor, place it in your level and then edit it in the actual component and all of its factors. So to do that, to do and get that lens flare, we're first going to need a post-processing volume. You'll find that in your place actors when you simply need to type post and you'll get the post-processing volume. A post-processing volume, which didn't drop in this level, let's do it again. They are dropping actually, but they're probably below the level. Yep, there they are. Okay, it's really far away from the whole level. So let me put it closer to where I want it. Here it is. And you can see in your world outliner, it's called Post Processing Volume 2. This is a space in your level where you can apply a range of effects that will kind of immediately present themselves in your player camera or any other viewport you might be using in your game. Now, first of all, we need to change it and get it to be a lot bigger than this. So we're going to scale it up from 111 to 20 and do it across the board. So we have a nice and hefty space, which is pretty big that is going to encompass a big part of my level. And there it is, in this space that is marked by this uh, box, you can apply a range of effects, post-processing elements that will all show up in your game. Now we don't want any of these, we want to get that lens flare and we'll get it by checking lens and right there below the top bottom of this field top line of this bottom line of this field is the lens flare effect you have five different elements to your lens flare and we're just going to use a couple of these to kind of give you the basic sense of the same process first of all yes we want to check it and have it active you can see it has a range of intensity so let's put 10 for starters as you can see it's near the maximum and tint is actually the color of your lens flare you want to use so you can edit red green and blue but you can also click on the white bar and simply choose for yourself now a lot of my level right here is kind of blue gray and I'm going to use the same lens flare here and uh, let's uh, move the value a bit further down. So it's a kind of a dark blue. And we also have the box size, uh, size of the lens blur in percentage of the view width that is done box texture. I don't have a clue what that is, but it's basically the size of your lens blur. It's presently three. So let's put that to like, I don't know, seven, for example. And threshold is the minimum brightness that the lens flare starts having an effect. We're also going to pull that up to, let's say, 15. So it's going to be a pretty massive lens flare, at least I'm hoping it's going to be, and it's going to be pretty visible. Now I'm starting the game here. Uh, this is my player character, so let's move this uh, somewhere around here so we know that once I fly over it will be in the space where the lens flare appears I'm going to also move my player character further back 
and let's expand this awful awful object I made in one of my previous tutorials into a space like this or a shape like this so we have the better inclination of the world once we get into it where are things located hopefully lens flare effect will be immediately present once I flow, fly over it so let's check it out here am I I'm flying and now in the space let's see if I can get some of that lens flare going and here it is you saw it for a really short period I'm going to fly again and let's see if I can get a better vantage point and here it is again and again as you can see it's appearing it's not that big it's not that prominent so we're going to push it up again post-processing volume again a lens and we're not going to use any of these but lens flare so let's check out intensity even further up size further up threshold further up and let's see how is does it look like now we're in the space entering it let's find that effect it should appear somewhere around here and here it is just for a short while it was pretty huge let's take a better angle of approach yep there it is I'm out of the sphere now and the effect immediately stops my source of light is not that good for lens ah, but it here here it is and as you can see it's pretty big it's all-out lens flare let's do it again and once again there it is the lens flare effect appears and you have it if I fly into my source of light it's even better visible but again I left my volume and the effect is gone so there you have it a really simple a really easy way to add your lens flare of course uh, the effect as you saw in my game or my game level is pretty defined not only by your lens flare settings but also the amount of light you have in your level and other factors but when it comes to adding it simply as this you see it in my level you can do it yourself really easily really quickly by simply adding processing volume and then playing around with lens flare effect under the lens category Hopefully you found this tutorial useful, it's really short, it's really simple, it's designed for total beginners, which is basically who I am. So hopefully, if you did find it useful, leave a like uh, and subscribe to my channel for further videos like this. Also, there are a bunch of ways you can support this channel in the description below. Use any of those. And of course, if you have any questions or dilemmas about this, let me know in the comment section. I would love to try to help you out. That's all for me, that's all for this video of Unreal Engine beginner tutorial for adding post-processing volume and more precisely adding lens flare to your, your level and the same effect to your level. Again, thank you so much for sticking until the very end and I hope to see you on my new Unreal Engine tutorial video. Until then, bye bye and have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine levels.